How's it going? Good. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. We are starting this video off in the Everglades National Park. This is our second full day here. Yesterday, Michael was fishing the whole day, and today we were at the Everglades Shark Valley. This is a 16 mile bike loop. The problem is we only have one bike. We weren't able to make reservations online and they don't have any more bikes here right now. So we're on a wait list, but the question is, do we just ride this together? I sit back here, Michael drives, or do we wait for a bike, which might take a while because they just opened like an hour ago. After waiting a little over an hour, check out this ride. It's pretty, uh, Nice looking, huh? All of it. It was probably my fault that we got here a little later than we wanted to, and then we had to wait a while. But these people were really slow. The bikes were available, and then they were just just a long story. Yeah. But we got the bike, and now it's time to ride. It's time to ride. All right, bike mode engaged. I was telling Kelsey, her bike, not in a bad way, but like if she was sponsored by Walmart, this is like the bike, just the colors, and hopefully you can keep up. Turn on. All right, so this is a 16 mile, 15. oh 15 mile, sorry, bike ride. Luckily I have this. Sure. Oh, yeah. ah. oh what are you doing? <laughs> Where are you steering it? Or did y'all see how close that guy was to that freaking alligator? He was behind it too. He probably was like making it feel like uncomfortable like yeah it's a water lizard but like uh that that thing will destroy you like we are not the apex predators in that situation i mean those things run what like 30 was it 30 miles per hour on land or something so what do you think of our bike ride so far Beep, beep. I want to find a giant alligator. That's the goal here. We've seen some babies. Look at that big mama. Hopefully you can see that on the GoPro. You know why alligators are so ornery? Because they got all them teeth. No toothbrush. The female will climb. So that right there is a tram you can take. It's like a tour. So what we're doing right now is uh, riding, well, we're looking at gators and enjoying the Everglades, but there's like a tower that we can uh, ride up to and then go up to the top and we might eat some snacks. But it should be a pretty cool view up there. Ah. What's wrong? Look at this. Oh yeah, his eyes are closing now. Look at the teeth on this thing, man. All right, locking the bikes up. This is the tower. It is the halfway point between the whole stretch of the 15 miles. It says we already did 6.91. Windy. Windy. My legs are like killing me. It's actually really tough to bike. Yeah, we were biking against the wind. Well, she was. You weren't. <laughs> I was scooting. We saw like a giant alligator. Probably the we found the big one. It, it must have been at least 12 feet. It was like down to the left over here. This is pretty cool. We're right at the end, but there's a gator hatch. It says, please do not disturb the hatchlings there's a bunch of tiny little gators we've never seen them that small so little. and then over here it's the big old mama we think she's in the pipe right now all right we are back i feel great how about you i'm tired and so sweaty we got um, some sandwiches, some chips, berries. Ooh, cookie bar cookies. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we mentioned this or not, but this place is called Shark Valley. Do we even say that? So if you're ever around South Florida in the Everglades, we saw a lot of alligators today. 
and she got to work out. Mm -hmm. And I had fun. Now we have a mission. Oh, that looks refreshing. I just stopped at the post office, had to ship something out. Now we are going to go let baby out. Oh, keys. You good? <laughs> Where are the keys? Where's your keys? Michael. Hey, how am I here, dumb boy? I didn't even know my oil is down to like 7%. So we need to probably get that changed before we drive all the way to Key West tomorrow. Because I don't even know if there's anywhere in Key West to get your truck oil changed. So I guess we have to do that today. Hopefully that does not take very long. There's some other stuff we want to do around here too. I do just want to say though, if you guys are enjoying this video and if you guys uh, want to see more vlogs like this, definitely hit the thumbs up button and make sure you're subscribed to the channel with the notification bell turned on. We're going to do some cool stuff later today. Hopefully. And then tonight... It's something special. Just just wait on it, man. Later today is going to be freaking sick. But yeah, I got to get all these rods back in my truck too. That's the other thing about, like, we got to talk about this at a different date, but we just need some space. Kelsey and I, sometimes, we've been doing this full-time RV stuff for over a year now. Um, we just get the feeling that, especially with the fishing stuff and videos that I film, we just could use a place to store stuff and just... Yeah, we'll talk about that in a future video. I guess she just took Campy on a walk, but this is our site. Um, I don't know if we said this or not, this is the Miami Everglades RV Resort. It's pretty cool. It's like uh, beautiful weather. It kind of gives jungly vibes. You can hear like some birds around. It's a bunch of lizards and stuff frolicking around. Kelsey and I saw a giant lizard yesterday. That sun is burning right now. It was just like drizzling a little bit. It's been a little cloudy day. You guys saw it was like windy and stuff, but that that is definitely a Florida sun. So as I mentioned earlier, we have to, oh, hello, what am I doing? So as I mentioned earlier, we had to get my oil changed before we go to Key West, where basically we probably won't be able to get it changed. They estimated us about freaking two hours just an for oil an oil change. Um, so we are getting a Uber or a Lyft, I guess, to somewhere pretty cool that we wanted to go to anyway. So I guess it works out. Yeah. Kind of. We have something at seven we're trying to do. Something major is happening at seven o'clock and we need to be back by then. Come on, brother. Take care. Have a good one. If you're around this part of Florida, the homesteady kind of area, this is Robert is here. This is a big tourist place. It is like a big fruit stand and they have really good smoothies and milkshakes. And, and they have uh, animals out back too. People say it's like a must stop if you're around this area. I used to go here when I was younger. Would you guys get a smoothie here or a milkshake? Apparently they have really good Oreo milkshakes. We got some smoothies. <laughs> okay, so usually we're not a big smoothie guy. Mm. I think it's good. Is it got... life changing? No, but it's so good. We both got mango, strawberry, pineapple smoothies. And we're just enjoying them out here with all these little animals everywhere. <laughs> Remember when the uh, the goat sneezed in your face? Uh huh. You're making noises. He <laughs> <laughs> just sneezed on you. Yeah. Do you like sneezing? We are walking down to the big surprise, which is bingo. Yeah, and you. We've been wanting to play for so long and the RV site we're staying at has bingo, so we're going to go play. Our dabbers, our bingo cards, and all these. B14, N37, N37, O72. We just got back from bingo. Unfortunately, we didn't win. Three people that were there won twice, which was really cool for them. Um, but I lost we, everything. But now we're going to go take Campy Camp. We're going to go throw the ball in this big field they have because he needs to burn off some energy.